only prop in that room, as Sean Hannity just said, was Michael Cohen for the Democratic Party. A black woman stood there and said, Donald Trump is not racist. In fact, he's empowered more women at the Trump Organization than yeah, any other Yeah, but you're a threat to them. Just to make a note, Mr. Chairman, just because someone has a person of color, a black person working for them, does not mean they aren't racist. And it is insensitive that some would even say it's the fact that someone would actually use a prop, a black woman, in this chamber, in this committee, is alone racist in itself. Donald Trump is setting Mr. President. Chairman, I ask I, that her Donald words Trump be taken down. Donald Trump is setting down. a president. I reclaim my time. Mr. Donald Chairman, Trump is setting a president. Mr. Chairman, the highest office can be a Mr. Chairman, the rules are activity. clear. Cover up and hold on to business assets to break campaign finance laws and constitutional clauses. What we have here, Mr. Chairman, is criminal conduct and the pursuit of the highest public office by Mr. Cohen and individual one. I hope that the gravity of this situation hits everyone in this body the court report. and in Congress and across this country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield the rest of my time. It's Mr. Chairman, I ask that her words, when she's referring to an individual member of this body, be taken down and stricken from the record. I am sure she didn't intend to do this, but if anyone knows my record as it relates, it should be you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman, I, I, I would like to hold on. I want the words read no, no, back. No, 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 no. We want to know exactly no, what she said me. about a colleague. Excuse me. Would you like to rephrase that statement, Ms. Salib? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I can actually read it from here. Just to make a note, Mr. Chairman, that just because someone has a person of color, a black person working for them, does not mean they are racist. And it is insensitive that someone would even say racist, say, say it is racist in itself, and to use a black woman as a prop to, mo to prove it otherwise. And I can submit this for the record. If a colleague is thinking that that's what I'm saying, I'm just saying that's what I believe to have happened. And if as a person of color in this committee, that's how I felt at that moment, and I wanted to express that. But I am not calling the gentleman, um, Mr. Meadows, a racist for doing so. I'm saying that in itself it is a racist act. Well, I hope not, Mr. Chairman, because I need to be clear on this well, particular. Mr. Chairman. Mr. 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 Meadows, wait a minute. I, I've defended you no, at, no, uh, no. About, uh, Meadows, with false accusations. Mr. Meadows, I'm the chair. Yes, sir, you are. Thank you. Right. I will clear this up. Now, Ms. Talib, is it, I want to make sure I understand. You did not, you were not intending to call Mr. Meadows a racist, is that right? No, Mr. Chairman, I do not call Mr. Meadows a racist. No. I am trying minute, as a person of color, Mr. Chairman, just to express myself and how I felt at that moment. Mm -hmm. And so just for the record, that's what was my intention. All right. Yeah. Mr. Meadows, Mr. Meadows. Mr. Chairman, there's nothing more personal to me than my relationship. My nieces and nephews are people of color. Not many people know that. You know that, Mr. Mr. Chairman. And to indicate that I asked someone who is a personal friend of the, the Trump family, who has worked for him, who knows this particular individual, that she's coming in to be a prop, it's racist to suggest that I ask her to come in here for that reason. Uh, Mr. President, the president's own person, She's a family member. She, she loves the, this family. She came in because she felt like the President of the United States was getting falsely accused. And, and Mr. Chairman, you, are, you and I have a personal relationship that's not based on color. And, and to even go down this direction is, is wrong, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I want to thank the gentleman for what you have stated. Um, if there's anyone who is sensitive with regard to race, it's me. Son of former sharecroppers that were basically slaves. So I, I get it. Um, I listened very carefully to Ms. Sully, and I think, and I, I don't want to, I'm not going to put words in her mouth, but I think she said that she was not calling you a racist. And I thought that we could clarify that. Because you, Mr. Meadows, you know, 
uh, and of all the people on this committee, uh, I've said it and got in trouble for it, that you're one of my best friends. I know that shocks a lot of people. And, and likewise, Mr. Yeah, Chairman. But you are. And I would do, and I could see and feel your pain. I feel it. And so, and I don't think Ms. Salib intended to cause you that, that, that kind of pain and that kind of frustration. Did you have a statement, Ms. Salib? I'm going to yield to you. We no, can just straighten this Mr. up. Mr. Chairman, and, and to my colleague, Mr. Meadows, that was not my intention, and I do apologize if that's what it sounded like, but I said someone in general. Um, and as everybody knows in this chamber, I'm pretty direct. So I, if I wanted to say that, I would have, but that's not what I said. And uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to clarify. But again, I said someone. And again, I, that was not referring to you at all as a racist. Well, I, I thank the gentlewoman for her comments. I thank the chairman for uh, working to clarify this. And, uh, and I, I appreciate the, the, the chairman's uh, intervening. Now, now to, to the gentleman, um, first of all, thank you uh, for allowing us to resolve that. Um, the gentleman had asked a little bit earlier. I will withdraw my request. Oh, you don't want to do the uh, unanimous consent? I, okay. I need the unanimous consent. Yeah, but the, uh, my, I, need, I think I need to officially withdraw my uh, request okay. that it be stricken. Go ahead, withdraw it. You, you I, did it? I, I, I did. Yeah. All right, sounds good only prop in that room as sean hannity just said was michael cohen for the democratic party i was never there to represent my entire race i was there to represent one man one man who by the way has done more for the black community than the last probably three presidents combined i mean not only has he just created an urban council that's funneling a hundred billion dollars of capital through opportunity zones into urban and rural communities but he's also given more money to historically black colleges and universities than the last administration. He's given more money for public housing than the last administration. He's given, um, you know, he just passed the most comprehensive prison reform bill in three decades. None and of it matters, are, Lynn. None nothing, of it matters to the left. None of it left. matters. No, but, because actual facts and evidence and yes. progress and success is counter narrative to them. Because well, their narrative right. is Trump's a terrible, awful, rotten person, and he's going to tank the economy and cause World War III. None of that's happened. So all they have is racism, 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 Mueller, Cohen, racism, yes. so Southern District of New York. That's like their whole thing. That's they right. summed it up, and that's their whole thing. Lynn, I want you to react to a few comments of that course. were made about your appearance yesterday. This first one on MSNBC. Let's watch. Mm -hmm. To bring a black woman out and have her stand there like she was on the auction block. She couldn't talk. She couldn't speak. You couldn't swear her in. And there's this visual exhibit A, American people. There's a black person here. And we have a black person who can't tell you what she thinks. will tell you how she feels. And that'll prove that Donald Trump's not a racist. You're like a slave on the auction block, Lynn? Really? You know, Laura, it's, it's really actually kind of sad and, and pathetic. I was so fired up this morning. The only race card that was played in that room were the folks on the uh, House Democrat committee that basically are taking the word of a self-confessed perjurer and criminally convicted white man over the word and testimony, basically, and experience of a highly educated black woman who rose up through the ranks of one of the most competitive uh, real estate companies in the world um, to, to uh, speak before 25 million uh, people in front of the uh, Republican National Convention and now works for one of the most uh, successful administrations in history. Um, you know, these people put, you know, tout me too. They tout women now. They tout all these things. And yet a black woman stood there and said, Donald Trump is not racist. In fact, he's empowered more women at the Trump Organization than yeah, any other Yeah, but you're a threat to them. Lynn, you're a threat. Your very <laughs> presence at that hearing, and I think it's great that Congressman Meadows brought you, and Thank that's you. why it bugs them, because it took them off their narrative, and they hate when that happens.